Hello, Internet, and welcome to Sketchy Questions, episode number 25. Today's question is about how to build a vase object with decorative trim running up along the sides, like you can see here. So please don't uh, judge my vase skills. I'm not a potter, but this is how we can do it in SketchUp. All right, let's get started. I will delete all that. The first step is to start with a circle. So we'll grab our circle tool and we'll draw a flat circle here on the ground, about six inches. Then I need to build a plane about a foot tall along this red axis and that's just going to help me get the shape of that vase. There we go. So I've got my plane. Next I want to draw an arc. That is not the arc. I want a two-point arc from here. So I'm going to start at the bottom and I'll just go up to the middle make a second arc yeah somewhere like that okay now that I've got these two arcs I want to copy them over so I'll use the move command and the control key to make a copy there we go that looks pretty good So now I will use the eraser tool and get rid of my extra geometry here make sure that's all nice and clean Okay, now that I've got all that extra geometry cleaned up, I need to select these two outer arcs. Hopefully you can see that on your screen. These are selected. And I'm going to go to the Edit menu, and I'm going to copy them. You could do Control c also. So we're not going to paste that right away, but we want to copy it now because we'll need it in a later step. Okay, next we're going to use the Follow Me tool to create the shape of the vase. So we'll go over here to the Tools menu and Follow Me. Now I'm going to select the face of these arcs and click that. Next, I'm going to put my hover my mouse over the edge of that circle. And I'm just going to keep dragging my mouse around till I get back to the beginning. And then I'm going to click. So you can see there, I have the basic shape of my vase. And if I want, I can do a little bit of cleanup here. I will just select these lines. Make sure that's all you have selected. And in the Entity Info dialog box, we can choose Soft and Smooth. And that just makes it look like one big piece. All right, the next step is to make our vase a component. So I'm going to triple click on the vase. It will go to Edit, Make Component. We'll click on Create. And that's just, just going to keep those ribs from interfering with the rest of the vase. Now I want to paste those two lines that I copied earlier. So I'll go back to the Edit menu and I'm going to choose Paste in Place. And you can see it pasted it in exactly the right alignment. Right now I'm going to draw an arc on the bottom plane here. And we're going to use the Follow Me tool again and go vertically this time. So if I zoom in at the bottom here, I'll draw a couple lines. Make sure you're snapping to the axis there. And I'm going to copy this over with the Move tool again, just so I make sure I have an even length on both sides there. And next, I'll do another arc. So we'll start at that end and at this end. Make sure we're on the red axis, and we'll form our arc there. Okay, so I've got my Follow Me tool here, and I will click the face that I want to extrude and then I'll use my mouse to follow along the path and when I get to the end I'll click so now we have one of these decorative elements let's do some cleanup again and get rid of these lines with the soft and smooth options again there we go one big piece 
And I also want to reverse the faces so that they're not white. So if I triple click to select everything, then I can right click and choose reverse faces. All right, now that's looking like I want it to. I'm going to triple click again to select that whole decorative element and I'm gonna make that a component also. So now our last step is to copy this decorative element around the rest of the vase. So let's get a kind of a top view here. I'm gonna do that with the rotate tool. So I'm gonna make sure I'm snapping to that blue axis there. I'll go to the origin point and click my mouse. So now I will snap to the red axis and click. So as I'm doing this rotate command, if I hit the control key on the keyboard, I'll be making copies of this, which is what I want. Okay, so I'll type 30, and you can see in the lower right there, it says uh, the angle will be 30 degrees. And then I'll press enter on my keyboard. Now before you do anything else, if we type 11x, that means it should copy that decorative element around 11 times. And we have our very beautiful vase-shaped object with these uh, really nice decorative elements. Okay, so that's it for this episode of Sketchy Questions. As always, keep the questions coming.